What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. Now, before I start this video, I want to iterate that this is actually a somewhat serious topic. It involves a child that has what I'm hearing to be terminal cancer. So while we do laugh and have our fun here on the channel, I think we're gonna have to tone it back a little for today. So I think we all know who Leah, aka Sniper Wolf, is. She's been in the YouTube community for a good while. While she used to be like a gaming channel or something, she mostly does mediocre reaction videos now because why bother putting in a modicum of effort into your content when you can just rip off what other people do while adding little substance of your own? Jealous? Hell yeah, I'm jealous. She's pretty much using YouTube as her personal ATM machine and all she does is shriek and squeal at a camera. Why wouldn't I just be a little bit jealous? But I'll stop telling you what you already know. I mean, the general consensus in the community is that her videos suck. Whatever, who cares? But it looks like a situation went on not too long ago regarding Leah, and I'll say it'll make you sick to your stomach. So this all kind of starts on the No Jumper podcast. I don't really know much about it. I think it's like a typical podcast, you know, reacting and commentating over news like regarding celebrities and other events. Not really important though. They brought on a terminally ill child named Kiara, and they did a bunch of neat stuff for her. Gave her some gifts, money for treatment, overall doing stuff to make her feel comfortable during her last days. I'm sure a more cynical person person than myself could say that it's a little, I don't know, a little weird to make video like this. I mean, the video is kind of clickbaity. Maybe it could rub some people the wrong way. I digress, it doesn't really matter. During the video, a question is asked regarding Kiara's favorite TikToker, and she responds, Sniper Wolf. Apparently, she's a really big fan, really looks up to her. Who's your favorite person you follow on TikTok? Sniper Wolf. She's like a really big YouTuber. <laughs> Who's nice. Sniper Wolf. You, you don't know, know about her. We gotta oh, show her. You gotta, yeah, put, yeah, you gotta yeah. put me on. <laughs> so this guy, I think his name is Adam22, tries to get into contact with Sniper Wolf so both of them could have a little chat. Appreciate you for coming. I'll on the Sniper Wolf thing for you. That's yeah. crazy. I'm gonna try to get in touch with her. I know some people who know her, so hopefully we can make it happen. Wait, really? Which, you know, is commendable. Apparently, he tried to contact her through Keemstar, who then divulges much of the story in a Twitter thread. He first drops this video. I am so disgusted and appalled and heated right now. All right, we're talking about SS Sniper Wolf. She's been in this community for a long time. She used to be a Call of Duty YouTuber. We've known her for a decade. She's always been a piece of shit, all right? But over the last couple years, she blew, uh, grew an empire on YouTube being a reaction channel. And a lot of kids like her and look up to her and fans of her. Adam22 from the No Jumper podcast hit me up a couple days ago, about a week ago, saying, hey, can you get me in contact with SS Sniper Wolf? There's this girl. She's 10 years old. She's dying of cancer. Her dream and her wish is to meet SS Sniper Wolf. And I told Adam22 right out, Leah, aka Sexy Sexy Sniper, aka Sniper Wolf, is a piece of shit. Good luck with that. Anyhow, Adam, trying to make this 10-year-old's dreams come true, gets a hold of Sexy Sniper Wolf, or SS Sniper Wolf, and she agrees to talk to the kid dying of cancer. She set it up with her mom. I got the text conversations. So they have a date to do it, right? Sniper Wolf blows it off. Completely blows it off. She's posted on Instagram that she's out to dinner, all right? She's, she's, She's out partying and living it up. And this 10-year-old is literally dying right now, surrounded by friends and family, dying right now. Sniper Wolf just blew this entire thing. She she had a scheduled time to FaceTime her, and she just didn't do it. So Adam22 hits me up and he's like, Kim, you're right. She's a piece of shit. The kid's dying right now. I don't know what to do. I just saw the goddamn text messages between SS Sniper Wolf and the mom making a date of when to do this and a time when to do this. And she just blew it off. Like, you have to be a certain piece of shit to fucking do this. Like, you are such a fucking scumbag. If if you see this at all, make the FaceTime call right now because the kid is literally dying right now, you piece of shit. So, Keemstar's alleging here that Sniper Wolf kept pushing the time frame in which she'd called the child, all the while going out to parties and eating out at restaurants, generally just enjoying herself. Enjoying herself while, you know, totally blowing off this kid who's dying. Shortly after the tweet, I guess Leah blocked her, which Keem shows here. He then posts an image of what looks to be Leah's Snapchat, where she's eating some sort of dessert. Which, like, you kind of figure, you have all this time to eat, you know, whatever this is here, but not to get in touch with someone who, as Keem said, could die at any second. Uh, we have this text message which shows the mom blocking Sniper Wolf. Basically, the mom and Leah were trying to set up a time, but again, since Leah kept, like, pushing the time back, I guess the mom got frustrated and blocked her. I do understand that there are emotions at play. I think it's justifiable. But then again, 
if you're trying to set up a date where your child can talk to this person, blocking them just seems counterproductive. Let me ask you a question. How long does it take to do a FaceTime with a fan? Five minutes, right? This woman is evil. I don't know how a typical video call of this nature is, but yeah, I'm sure five minutes would go a long way. She says, I told her multiple times I would love to video chat her daughter, but we couldn't find the time that worked. My family is visiting and got sick, so I haven't had time. Which, okay, if your family's over, then just... I don't know, go to another room to do the call? I mean, if it really is just a matter of, you know, just setting aside a few minutes, it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm sure your family will understand. And, and what, you got sick? Dude, this girl has terminal cancer. You can't talk to a girl with terminal cancer because you have a cold? Can someone make this make sense? We've got some text messages, so bear with me here. Hello, would love to send her a video message or to chat with her. OMG, hi. OMG, she would love to talk to you. However we can, thank you, thank you. Hi, would love to tomorrow, if that's okay. If it doesn't disrupt your Christmas, yes please. Sure, if not tomorrow, then Sunday. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Just message us when you're ready. You mentioned Sniper Wolf in your story. How? please don't post messages. I usually don't do this and I don't want other people to spam me to video message. Thanks. And actually a lot of people kind of criticized her for this. I do think it's somewhat understandable. I guess the mother posted something about the FaceTime on her story on like some sort of social media and Sniper didn't want like a bunch of inquiries about it. Uh, no, I think that's somewhat understandable. Okay, I'm so sorry. I deleted it. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Hey, Sorry, didn't have time today. I'll let you know tomorrow. Merry Christmas. Perfect, just let us know. Hello, let us know if today works. If not, tomorrow's good, but can we maybe set up a specific time? Hello, I can in like two hours that works. That is 11 p.m. on this side. We live in Massachusetts. Kiara will most likely not be awake. Okay, hopefully tomorrow. Does any time during the day work? Yes. Hey, Kiara's up. I don't know if you're around. Hey, sorry, won't be home for another two hours. Might be too late. We can keep trying, but my days are usually very busy. Gives a long text. You know, my daughter looks up to you. She loves you. Watched her her whole cancer treatment the past year. It would have been nice for you to to just say hi. It's okay, she's dying and literally has days to live. I just tried to make my daughter's last wishes happen. You shouldn't have even reached out because then I could have just told Kiara we tried. I told her you wanted to say hi and instead you blew off a dying 10 year old girl for days. It's all good. Obviously being sarcastic. No need to be rude, I said I would do it. Wow, the audacity to say something like that. This is a mother with a girl with cancer, like, wow. It's Christmas and my family is visiting out of town and you know, she says we are good and she blocks the account. And I don't know, to give Sniper Wolf the benefit of the doubt, this doesn't read like someone who's like intentionally blowing off the child, but I mean, it is neglectful overall. Again, it's like, what, five minutes to do one of these calls? So you'd think it would just be in and out, I don't know. Then again, both the mom and Sniper Wolf don't really seem to be too organized when it comes to scheduling this whole thing. They don't set up like a specific time, they just say we'll do it on this day without like setting up a time frame. So I don't know, I feel like maybe you could give Sniper Wolf some wiggle room here. But then Keem drops a few pics of Sniper Wolf actively defending herself over the situation on Twitter, which is like, you figure she's reading all these threads about her and making all these responses, apparently she was doing this for 45 minutes straight, so it's like, you have time for internet drama, but not the FaceTime? That's where I personally absolve you of the benefit of the doubt. I just don't think there's no excuse here. That's all I really have to say about the thread. You know, I actually found this comment here. Not gonna lie, staying out of this since I don't know what's going on and I don't want that hate like who are you you're literally just a nobody with absolutely no connection to the situation. Why did you feel the need to comment this? Oh, she's a VTuber. Figures. I was trying to schedule a time to talk to her because originally when I tried to talk, there was a time zone difference and Kiara was asleep. So I told her we could try again the next day because I keep my promises. When I tried to reschedule a time that could work for Kiara, I got blocked by the mother. I did not ghost or ignore the child. I kept trying to do it. People saying you could have taken five minutes to do it. I wanted to give her more than five minutes, which is why I asked to schedule a time. Okay. I mean, if you wanted to give her more than five minutes and thus, you know, you need like a bigger time frame, you could have just clarified that to the mother and like what, you want to give this kid more than five minutes to chat, but you just don't have the time. Okay, we'll clear off your schedule. Maybe skip out on partying for a night, you know, maybe put someone else before your own interests for once. I don't know. She claims that she eventually did get in contact with the kid, talk to her for a few hours, even show some messages. But the fact that it took you that long to finally get around to it is not a good look. So yeah, overall, I don't really have too much to say. Other than Snapper Wolf really don't look good here. I will say that you can give her the benefit of the doubt here and there, but overall, when you're literally getting into internet arguments instead of fulfilling your promise to this child who, again, like, I feel like I'm beating you over the head with this information, but this is a child with terminal cancer. I don't know, I just don't think you have much leeway. Anyways, I'll kind of plug the kids GoFundMe. If you have a spare book or two, throw it her way if you can. That's all I've got for this shtick though. So do old Jack your favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.